welcome to another episode of Marta's Time. This is the third one, I hope you enjoyed the first two ones. And today, as always, we're gonna begin with the lazy Q&A to then move on to something else, so let's get started. Before you left university, what were you studying? I actually didn't leave university, I just registered and I was supposed to go, but the day before I decided that I wanted to instead move to another country, so I never begin university. But if you're curious, I was supposed to study art history in the University of Venice and before that in high school I studied tourism, economy and languages. Marta, I will be studying abroad in Florence, Italy this June, all the way from Austin, Texas, USA. I will be staying there for an entire month and was wondering if you had any fashion advice on how to dress for summertime in Italy. I'm also curious if you have any favorite restaurants, shops, places as well you are an inspiration to me, I would truly appreciate any advice you give me. With love, Lauren. I'm really glad to hear that you're coming to Italy. I think you're gonna have a great time, but just know that Italy during summer is boiling. It's extremely hot. And I'm not just making it up, it's really, really hot. So I would definitely suggest tank tops, lots of breathable dresses, nothing too tight, um, light colors, no black, otherwise you're just gonna fry under the sun, um, hats, glasses, open shoes, anything like that, anything very lightweight, otherwise you will die, I'm sorry. Also, I've never been to Florence, even though I wish so much, maybe one day I will, maybe this summer, who knows, but if you have the chance, go to Pisa, which is kind of close and it's one of my favorite cities, I think it's beautiful, and about the restaurants and shops and stuff like that, I can't really suggest you too much because I feel like Italy is more about the little independent shops and restaurants so there aren't any chains that you can go to and get great food or great clothes. I mean, there are a few, but nothing that I really love. So I think it's better if you just go around and find out about independent shops because those are the best ones. Mm, hi, I was kind of wondering what happened to Maya because I never really see her in any of your videos or Felix videos anymore. A lot of people ask me this and Maya is completely fine. She's a little bit older though than when we started doing YouTube. She's 9, almost 10 years old, so she she's just a bit more lazy. She doesn't want to show up on camera, she's just sleeping a lot. She's losing her little teeth in the front now, so her tongue is like sticking out a little bit and she's adorable. And I'm sorry if I don't show her too too much, but just know that she's always with me, just not in this office, so that's why you don't see her. But she, she's fine, so don't worry about it. Do you still watch anime? What are some of your favorite shows at the moment? I do watch anime and if you mean which animes I'm liking right now, I've been watching Little Monster. Don't judge me. I know that it's nothing too intense, but sometimes if I'm eating or just doing something uh, like painting my nails, which I don't do anymore because I, I have no time, but if I have some free time, I just enjoy to put on something easy to watch and that's pretty good. I've been enjoying it. Hi Maxia, I saw you posted a photo in which you look absolutely amazing by the way of you with a fake septum piercing. Are you planning to get it? Since I noticed that you took out the one that you had before. Anyway, keep up the great job, love you. I'm glad you noticed that I did have to take out this one because a lot of people thought that that one was fake but I actually had it for a very long time. It's just that with the surgery that I had to do, I had to take it out and then for months I couldn't touch my nose so I couldn't put it back in and now it's closed. But I would love to get a septum piercing but I just can't right now. I have to wait a long time before my nose comes back to normal. I don't want to mess up anything. So if you do see me with that one, it's just fake and maybe one day I will be brave enough and I will be able to do it. But for now, fake one will do. What's currently your favorite video game? Uh, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, the zombie mode. My friend Emma made me play it and I never played COD before. But now I understand what it's all about and I can't get enough. My life has been changed, let's put it that way. And I also want to say, a lot of people think that girls just say, oh, I play Call of Duty to show off, but girls are allowed to have fun with those games as well. Deal with it. I might say you're one of my role models and you inspire me so much. I'm taking my first major trip and first time flying, so I'm super excited, but I'm going to have a layover. Can you recommend me some good books to read? 
and in genre is fine. What I like to do when I fly, since I enjoy reading as well, is to buy a big book but on my iPad. So I have a lot to read but I don't have to carry it all the way, which I think really really helps. The one that I'm currently reading, and I've been reading for a long time because I only keep it for when I fly, it's called Taka on the Shore by Murakami and I really like it so far. So if you have an iPad or an iPad mini like I do, that's a great thing. But if you don't, I would suggest any of Banana Yoshimoto's books because they are pretty thin and they are just so special. So I hope that helps. So those were all the questions, but now we have a very special segment because we have a guest and to have him here in this video, I'm gonna have to transport all the way to Italy. So let's do this. I'm here! Today, Hi. we're gonna play a weird game. We have these, and we're gonna have to draw something that whatever we want, but the challenge here is that we're gonna draw it with our mouth. And the first person who guesses each other for three times will win. Okay, I'm gonna start. It's difficult. Xbox! Yes! <laughs> it's my turn now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Also a junior. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's so. A poo. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a bit shaky. <laughs> Second round. <laughs> yes. Was it? Whoa! <laughs> kind of scary. Our toys will tap the middle to do. I would like to be in the middle. It's like a squirt. I have three guesses. What the hell is A baby? I can help you with Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Come <laughs> on. Caramella. Candy. Candy. Choo choo. Person? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Well, we will have a sudden death round. But let's see if he guesses this, otherwise I will be the winner. Jumbel! Nuts! Nuts. Jumbel. Donuts. Wait, Donuts! You got it! Because you said it in Italian, so you got it! Yes! So that was it. It was pretty good. Now, we're both gonna do it at the same time, and then we're gonna show it. And you have one guess each. But uh, let's do it harder this time. Okay. Okay, I have it. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Three, two, one, hook. A beach? <laughs> beach? No. Oh. A fish? Ne hai vinto? This time my brother won. Yes, sir. Also, I have a channel, and if you want to join to my adventure, click, 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 click. I'm gonna see you back in England now, so I'm gonna go. Bye! I'm back here, as you can tell, and now the very last thing that we want to do today is to create my own little garden. I received many plants as gifts, and I also wanted to get into gardening, but I'm terrible with plants, so I'm going to try with you something very basic and hopefully it's gonna work. So let's go. Okay, so I'm here with my garden to set up. These were gifted to me, these two by my dad and this one by a friend. And the only thing that I have to do with this one is to transplant it in one of these vases because that is too tiny. After that, I want to grow some new plants with seeds and then I just have to fix this one up because it's not doing too well. Oh, and I have fake birds here because why not? I also have water. I know that it looks like apple juice, but it's water, believe me. So I'm gonna take the soil and now I'm gonna put some water just so the soil can get bigger. I'm 
so confused by this. That's why I'm not a great gardener yet. I'm just gonna put it there, just chilling. Okay, so as you can tell, I've done the same thing with the other two. This one is kind of turning out well. So while I wait for those two, I'm gonna take my original vase and I'm gonna pour it inside. It's looking pretty good so far. I've just made a mess, but that's cleanable. Whoa, that's pretty good. Ooh, look at that. I'm a pro now. Soil is done. Now I'm taking the tea seeds and I'm gonna put them in this one. They're ginormous. Okay, so the first one is done. Now, the Venus flytrap seeds. They're pretty much invisible. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully I've done it, I'm not sure. And now the last ones are the lemon seeds. Oh yeah, I recognize lemon seeds. Gonna do this standing up. I need precision. So now that these are done, I'm just gonna give a little bit more water. Look at that, so pretty. Now the next thing I wanna do is to move this one in this bigger vase. So what we have to do is to make a hole on the bottom just because people told me to do that. Then we're gonna put the soil and then we're gonna move it in and give it some water. I'm really unsure of how you're supposed to take the soil. Look at it, I'm so proud. It's beautiful. For now, I'm giving up on these two just because I don't have soil enough. Like I have it, but I've messed up. Instead, I'm just gonna give water to this one, add a tiny bit of soil, the one that I have left in here, give it water, and then we're gonna be done. My parents skipped and me this because they said that it's impossible to kill. Let's see if with my hands it's still gonna survive. I hope so. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, plant. So yeah, I think I did it. We made it to the end of this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions for things that I can include in the next episode, you can write me on my Twitter, no, Tumblr account. I will leave it down below. And yeah, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will see you very soon. Bye. Thanks for 